Lynn Chadwick first emerged as a sculptor in the early 1950s. He was a member of a group of sculptors who were making works that were quite sharp and angular, uh, the real antithesis of the sort of curved monumental forms of Henry Moore and Barbara Hepworth that had preceded in the pre-war period. This later sculpture from the late 1980s characterises a major recurring theme in Chadwick's work of the human figure combining with pure form. From the late 1960s onwards, he began to experiment with cloaked and caped male and female figures, the former often with a rectangular head and the latter with a, a sort of slighter triangular counterpart. Chadwick actually spoke about these sculptures in a later interview. He said, I would call it attitude, the way that you can make something almost talk by the way the neck is bent or the attitude of the head. You can actually make these sculptures talk. They say something according to their exact balance. This particular maquette is actually extremely rare. It's number one in an edition of just nine casts that were made at uh, Pangolin Editions. It's been stamped with the artist's monogram and also with the foundry mark. Chadwick's sculpture has become increasingly sought after in recent years, and this is a particularly typical fine work. We think it represents really great value. Come visit us at the gallery in Uppingham, where you can view this wonderful sculpture here in the flesh or you can see it online on our website at goldmarkart.com.